so AoE and Darkseer have have some AoE, but uh, Ursa as a core, he's gonna be buffed though. You're gonna have Oracle sitting behind him, Darkseer with Iron Shell plus Surge, so he can chase. Let's see what uh, Vici Gaming wants to go for. Yeah, I, I can see where you come from. EG could definitely do with some sort of big team fight focus to round it out. But what options are there really for them in that regard? Would you, I mean, would you want something like a Monkey King? I don't think that really fits this too well. It's going to depend on what Vici have, but do they have the flexibility in the line to add that in? They have only eight seconds left. They used all the reserve time to get the last pick. Uh, maybe they're thinking if they want to go for that. Uh, Mag or not, something maybe with uh, lower cooldown. It's right. gonna be Lion. Probably, Probably position four. Lion. Yeah, yeah. We saw yesterday Tavo from Chaos playing position three Lion, and uh, Zai played it during CQ Major once, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, you want to get that finger. Lion scales as a hero. He scales so well into the mid and late game. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, definitely some some interesting attempts. As you said, Kale's trying to run it in that free position, but it, it's kind of weird because usually if you're going to run that type of free, then you oh, leave yourself in this question mark back. when it comes to who's tanking, who's your front line. This is a good ban. When you have two supports like Oracle, Earth Spirit, uh, you can't really lock down heroes like Puck. Pretty easy to play, or he loves to play it. And uh, let's see. What uh, Weechi is going to pick. EG has the, the last pick so they can have a better mid matchup uh, for Sumail. What they really lack right now? I mean, like you keep saying, you said earlier, it's, it's more that they're very single target focused for the most. Are we going to have Lion and Lena? Yep, there it is. I mean,. I I can read the lineups uh, well once I see. Look at you just leaning back in your chair, games. flexing. Like, yeah, I can just I can do this with my eyes closed, nah. pitching. You know, I don't nah. need any. Nah, but I <laughs> I think I can predict a lot more picks for Chinese teams uh, because uh, the way they play, they don't experiment uh, too much. Five seconds remaining. Uh, do EG go for TA here? a little bit too bold with the Chen army. I think TA got buffed enough so we can't see her being played again. We saw Sumail yesterday playing Marana. Was it against Lina? Yeah, that it was. That was against Lina, yeah. It was, yeah. There's a lot of volatility to that lane as well. A lot of kill potential on either side. We saw early attempts to dive, I think around level 3 it was, with the 1 point leap and the 2 points to Starstorm. They might still go for Marana, even though I think it's, uh, again, a bit too too squishy of a lineup that they would have and uh, single targeted. Because it's not easy to play Marana into this much burst from Le Lion, Lina. There's a lot of control. Also, if just Phantom Assassin uses a dagger on you, you're kind of forced to, to use uh, Leap defensively. I uh, can't risk that. Especially once you get to the stage of the game where there's an abyssal on the PA. This is kind of the awkward thing is if you don't pick some of the bulks up, like the Dragon Knight that got banned out, you leave yourself susceptible. And right now, where's your pushing going to come from? It's all on the darks here right now to take towers. Yeah, they really have no tower damage. How the Lashrak, Lena matchups we've been looking at at the moment. There have been a lot of tweaks around that hero. Yeah. They go for the Miranda though. You may now select your heroes. I gotta say, I love Vici Gaming's lineup more. Uh, Marana, again, same matchup. I think Ori is gonna do way better than what we saw uh, yesterday from uh, Chaos. And, uh, no, it, it was Navi, sorry. And uh, have I think they have way better team fight potential with uh, Lion, Brewmaster, and uh, Chen. A lot of heal, a lot of sustain. Yeah, of course, Chen... With the way that his Divine Favor works on a Phantom Assassin is a lot of extra damage. Shouldn't be underrated here. Even on the Lena with the attack speed she has, there's decent targets for Chen to buff up in this game is the point. And yeah, and I'm afraid for Ursa's early game. We saw him yesterday actually recovering from really bad early stage, but um, he he's not going to have a good time. He's playing against Phantom Assassin's Blur, Brewmaster, he's 
playing against Hex on Lion. Lina builds into Yule Scepter. Not, not an easy Ursa game to start with. Oh, once again, just like that game yesterday, it's the mischance he's going to have to deal with in lane, right? Last time it was Troll, this time it's going to be the Brewmaster. I mean, you can't underrate the tweaks they've been making to Ursa, right? That was it, they removed five uh, movement speed off the guy, they also took two armor away. That removed a decent amount of his bulk, so these crits will hurt a little bit from the Brewmaster. Yeah, for sure. So, let's see what they want to lane i suppose you don't not want to lane well brewmaster definitely against the uh, against ursa because of the extra movement speed the from mr the spell so you can just hit a runaway miss chance probably probably lion on top of it but uh, the way i saw vici was playing they always Prepare secure paparazzi's farm so they put the uh, Position four with him most of the time. Okay, and then basically just say yeah and get whatever you can, which yeah. kind of fits with some of the games we've been seeing. I remember the Weaver game from yesterday. It was more kind of a you exist, get items, and be helpful later. My thanks. Let's see how they're gonna start. So RTC's moving top. No kind of tricky starts these lanes to try and deceive their opponents. Vichy are gonna start with free bot. They could maybe look to punish any greedy attempt by crit, for example, to secure a rune. Especially with Alina being here as well. What's most likely... the What do you think is going to be the most volatile lane mix-up we can see? Like Ursa versus the Brew. We said that should be kind of hit and miss. Uh, is it the PA that's going to get pressured heavily? I feel like... Uh, Ursa can't achieve too much at the early stages uh, in this game. We'll have to see. Let's see what he bought this time on his uh, Ursa. Adjusted the item build from yesterday. He does not want to risk anything because he's playing against Chen. Yesterday it kind of backfired. He went uh, Tango's Stout Shield and um, Orb of Venom for maximum kill potential, but uh, they had Chen, so they're gonna set up lanes uh, accordingly whatever they want so this is going to be a first blood for Vici. yeah fade actually gets the final touch they did bring the leaner across and this won't benefit sumel because he came to the bot lane as well so no one is blocking the mid wave yeah so pretty even and uh fade got the first blood marana didn't do too much there didn't even skill arrow usually in a mid matchup she does not want to skill arrow at all until level four just leap and two points in star storm just because of the extra last hitting potential and uh, he can play aggressive with it maybe try to score a kill we we watched yesterday how Samael plays aggressive at the laning stage but i think it's going to be a different matchup now that he's playing against ori uh, of course, the thing about Lena is you can try and fake out that Light Strike Array. So once you get to that point where you have the kill threat, you always have to keep an eye out and try and force the LSA out before you can leap and commit. Because if you get stunned in a creep wave as a Mirana, you melt pretty fast. Well, that's for just doing typical Dark Seer things. I think the offlane heroes or players rather are happy about the return Dark Seer. Has it been that long that they're excited to finally play it again? I'm not a big fan of Darkseer anymore. During 720, he felt uh, extremely strong. He's gonna get, have a lot of farm, but also needs uh, a lot of items. And he's uh, not a hero that rotates early on. Like, Earth Spirit is also leeching XP. He wants to get, get himself to level 2. But uh, is it really worth it? You're giving free lane to Paparazzi. That's the thing. He's not really suffering too much when it comes to CSing on the tower oh, because that's got the Quelling Papa Blade. Look at Papa dropping yeah. Quelling Blade so he can last hit earlier. The next level play. The Don means that he can just CS under the tower variably pretty easily. And so far, 10-1 for the PA. For comparison, the Ursa only got 5 to his name in terms of CS. Ori is going ham on a mid lane. 11-4 against 4-4 and Sumail. He's suffering in these early levels. This maybe changes a little bit as Earth you Spirit get up to like level 3, level 4. We're all in. Okay, go for this. Stun comes out of the line, slows him down as well. The ball is mashed through and gets the kill. Nicely done. Earth Spirit, as soon as he got uh, 
level 2, instantly TP top, he can't really do anything on bottom because S4 is just gonna keep cutting the waves and the farming boat jungle and the lane creeps and now he's moving on to the mid lane, but this could be a kill potential on Ori. He's going for a roll in, Ori tries to sidestep him but it's too late, he's gonna ferry fire off, but the boulder smash through secures the kill. Crit with the big plays, this rotation already paying off, he got the... Uh, one kill, which means he's gonna have boots of speed. Can come back to a lane also. There's four so speed speeding in the bot lane. Four. I should just found a kill onto him in response, noticing that he was alone. I say, does give Murano a little bit of a lead. She has to be a little bit careful because she did expend the final leap there, which means you are susceptible to being stunned up and harassed out now. And you can see, once EG sees that the line showed on the bottom lane, they instantly start playing more aggressive on Brewmaster, who's solo. Yeah, it's in pretty low on HP, and RTC does have level 3 now, so you have that second point Fury Swipe, so these stacks add up pretty quickly. Flies. Hunting for him right now. Yang, he has got the Mango, he might be forced to use just to TP away, but... Luckily for him, the creep wave is pushing in, and RTC doesn't want to sacrifice farm for what might be a kill. Oh, S4 is really tanky. Lion is going to have another stun in a second. Surge is going to be ready as well. He's got the big stick. He could go for it, but he decides not to. I think he would have made it as say, well. Huh? A very big stick, but, you know, instead they clonked him on the head. He didn't even use the stick. He would have got away as well, because yeah. you can surge through people. I remember Lanham having a stick with uh, 28 charges. Well, have you ever seen anyone legitimately try and do like a double one strategy? That's what I really want. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I was thinking about it, but then after a couple of seconds I realized it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you never know. Keep up the reserves. Maybe if you're up against the Bristleback plus one other spammer. If you're playing against Bristleback and, uh, let's say, Batrider playing. There you go. Then build T1s, guys. That's how you're going to win your games. The cost gives you his seal of guarantee. Not even approval. He doesn't approve it himself. He just guarantees it'll work. And now movement in on the fade. Four heroes up here. EG rotating for the runes. They'll get killed. Roll across. They want a secondary one. Yang. He slowed down and ran through here. The TP will be cancelled because they can't assist, and that's going to be two runes top secure for EG. Looks like DY got... No, oh, just one of the ones bought. S4 grabbed the other. Yep, EG just outnumbering Vichy. Four-man rotation to grab two kills. Uh, they have no catapult anymore, but... Uh, Ori on a mid lane. A lot of CS, 30 CS. Same goes for Paparazzi. So is this the right move that EG's making? They must realize they're falling behind in terms of farm, right? So they're just trying to apply pressure as early as possible. Yeah, their, their heroes are mobile. And uh, with Marana being played on mid, which means she's going to get a lot of levels stunned, not going to connect. Uh, so they just play the game where they try to outnumber them, outmaneuver. Earth Spirit is doing a good job. Same goes for Marana. Also, they're playing nicely around this Observer Ward. And uh, they just smoked under the ward. Yeah, so they know about this. Roland's gonna come out. Actually, they're moving on to Brewmaster. They're getting pretty low. Boulder Smash Cruise, enough to be some crit. They hit the Laguna straight away without hesitation. The Moonlight Shadow was setting in. Mel will well. return to the mid lane. And it looks like DY is setting up for a push here. He's got his double Kai. Yeah, but it's not very effective against Mirana's arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, single Kai. That so will probably get to live for another 10 seconds. For sure, a regen room. Zumel could not be happier about eliminating those cards. Bottom lane. Roll him. Going for him. Paparazzi's been slowed up. The boulder smash holds him in place. And now I'm going to try and move away. Trying to surge forward. But the creeps chase him. But now he's going to go for the TP out. And Crick does not have a way of stopping this. The damage not quite enough. He could have TP'd to a shrine if he wanted to. Because there's a lot of creeps coming to his tower. you got Chen though. And he's already bringing him to the mid lane. But things could be worse. They might just sacrifice the bot lane. Yeah, but someone needs to be bottom. There's a two creep waves coming at it. They're ignoring it right now. Meanwhile, in top lane, they're in trouble. Kang has to run away. Stun's coming out to us. But Arteezy is so damn tanky. Look at that. 13 armor. Fowls and HP. This is a bear that will not go easily into that jail knight. 
DP spot lane. They want to stop the push. They finally acknowledge what you're saying, Lacoste. Now they get going. Double stun coming out. Laguna through. Dark's going to get low. S4 trying to move away. The boulder smash won't save his life. And now Crit needs to escape himself. We'll be able to roll out. It's the humiliation. Nicely executed. EG should know about this. Uh, when you're trying to push tower like this, tower is getting low. You use scan. Early scans are not too much of a value. You're not going to use it to scout Roshans or anything. So always good to use it to underneath the tower, the south part of the map. Meanwhile, on the land of Ursa, attempts are being made. It's kind of the awkward thing now, with the way that they changed the costs of his abilities, it's really hard to justify even just one point to Earthshock. Yeah, you don't oh. see that. You don't see that much often. He's just farming with the overpower, and I like the build. Face boots into drums. Yeah. Drums gives you enough tankiness, extra move speed, so... We, yesterday he didn't even go uh, for a blink dagger at all. I think he was queuing one off at the end, but by then he'd had three or four items at least, so it wasn't... It was kind of like a consolation prize, he didn't feel like he needed it. It's understandable, if you've got these initiation type heroes that are going to lock them in place, say for example the Earth Spirit, you can just run across pretty rapidly and then find those kills. I'm trying to find a kill mid now. Uh, they decide against it. Yeah, it's I like, a little bit too obvious. I like the way Dark Sir is building this game straight into Vanguard, and I hope it's just Crimson Guard right after it. It's gonna mitigate so much damage against Phantom Assassin. Lena also deals uh, right click damage. It's good against Brewmaster Split. Even the Chen army adds a decent amount of physical damage in when they're actually on top of you. All justification. Moonlight Shadow being used here. They actually wanna. Punish the uh, the puppet master himself. DY has been spotted. They're gonna roll in. Stun does land. The ball smash through. Getting pretty low and running them through. Four heroes in the mid lane. This should be a push for the tier one. But who's gonna deal the damage? They have Radiance middle tower is under they have no tower some damage. arrows to shoot at buildings. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but I don't think arrow works on towers. No, no, the little arrows, not the big ones. I mean, even then, I'm I'm pretty sure historically arrows haven't been an effective means of destroying structures. Maybe like burn an arrows, but no clinks is in this game. He what was that unicorn the guns. from Warcraft 3 that was shooting arrows? Ballista? Uh, yeah, Ballista would have been one of them. Wasn't there? Was there an archer as well? I believe. I'm not sure. Do you want to be a bit more basic? Cyclone. They used to split in the top lane. They're going on the Ursa here. They got light strike right from, but they actually missed time everything. Now the rage coming out as the Laguna hits. He's tanking everything and running for the high hills. They should be able to stun him up, still kill him off, but he makes him work for it. A little bit of time wasted. Yeah, they didn't time it right with uh, Cyclone and uh, LSA, but uh, still managed to grab a kill, which gives enough info to EG, so Tier 1 Tower on mid is probably gonna fall. There's four-man rotation already, double damage, Mirana with the catapult. We saw that yesterday. <laughs> yes, EG, Mirana well. taking, yeah, uh, just having flashbacks from yesterday. They even had Alpha Bull. Is there going to be a rinse and repeat? Yes, that is the real question. Is Simel with these DDs? Always oh, getting maximum use out of him. Proven that he's actually really the Ballista in this game. Starting to play a lot deeper. You can actually see it. If we had a, like a heat map right now, EG have had a huge focus in this Radiant Jungle. And the impressive part of all this is that VG have still not taken down this tier on top. They will now, but they've been denied access really to that jungle for quite a while. Might be an attempt on the bot lane. Roland's gonna be there, and they're looking on the room after they know he doesn't have the split. The finger comes out, they do get killed on the crit, but now they need some vengeance. Yang is gonna go down, S4. Low on mana, will be able to back away though. Oh, runs out of mana. Has to stick just to get the surge. The old scepter is gonna be such a great item in this game. You have the spell against pretty much everything. One of the better items against Ursa. If he uses Enrage, set up the stuns for his team. Great against Darks here, dispel surge. Plenty to punish here that EG has, but you have to get to that point, and he has now got it, so expect Ori to make a lot more rotations now. Yeah, EG's vision game is not not the greatest right now, they're gonna find Lina, has a Yule Scepter, can't really use it because it's gonna be dispelled. No sorry, gonna be ran through here, Ori's gonna go off the air, but when he comes down, RTZ is ready and waiting, the rage gets activated. The bear eats his meal, chasing forward on the paparazzi, we'll be able to find strike across to the creep wave and escape though. EG. Well, any attempt that Vici want to try and make it aggression, EG is just trying to maximize theirs. Yeah, you can see that EG wants to play aggressor right now because they have two drums, one on Mirana, one on Ursa. 
They want to keep the pressure. Darkseer is farmed enough. And uh, if they grab a kill or two, they could easily go into Roche Pit. Leechy Gaming does not have a, the greatest Roche lineup. So I expect EG to take the first Roche. Yep. Yeah, the Ursa, one of the strongest heroes in the game, for just easily just running in and taking that Roche. Whether they give it to the Ursa or the Murano is the real question. I expect it to go into the hands of Arteezy, but at the same time... I mean, we saw last game they'd give up... Well, last time they played this combo, they'd give it over to Sumail just because of how dominant he was. And 3-0 for the score, there's not really much difference between then and now. Smoke from Vici. Finger on cooldown. Laguna Blade is ready. I guess they want to play some vision as well. Does Lion have a... Observer board, they don't. Dire used the scan, did not connect. Oh, uh, fade. That should have been noticed. The ping comes out. They know about it. They're actually going in the mid lane, looking on the DY, trying to get rid of him quick enough. The arrow there should be enough for fade. Gonna throw out the stun, but Mirana's still too tanky. Can't use the finger. Let's see if they can make their accuser lineup work as they want to point the finger at someone. Crit can go for the roll in. Boulder smash for under two and the magnetize gets activated. The light strike array gets sidestepped and that split comes out. Cyclone up in the air. The Osa is going to be controlled, but this is a full retreat split. They need to get out. My back's going to come up the chain. Going to try and recall someone through. Arrow, Sumail realizes and remembers that there is, in fact, a Roche in that bit. One that Arteezy would happily like to uh, punch up there. They grab the kill, Chen bought back, Brewmaster does not have a split, they can't really fight, so EG uses all this info and goes straight into Roche Pit. Well, they're trying. Um, this could be punished. Yang, they know he doesn't have a split. Boulder Smash, backing back into the wall, and actually they just want to focus down the Roche. Arteezy will pick up the Aegis, and now they can go to work. Yang, still pretty deep, going to try and move away the Drunk Brawl, but the roll through locks him on the spot. And will be the end of his life as they run him down <laughs> slowly to slowly. There. He's angry, he wants some, but he's like, food, where is food? These are not ceremonial drums, these are drums of war. But he won't be able to find anyone's head to cave in. They need to go get the creep waves and start pushing on these towers because they still haven't taken that tier 1 top. Meanwhile, Sumail just continue to assert dominance around this mid-section of the map in the Radiant Jungle at all times. Yeah, Reach Gaming's execution has not been the greatest in this game. They try to go for for ganks so uh, he tries to set up a stun with lena then he realizes they can see them brewmaster uses split right away and uh, suddenly the fight is over definitely not as much the executioner as the executed with how this game's gone so far yes 7 11 is the score but we're on that store in fact it's a 5k network fleet for eg and they have the Aegis on their side now yeah, expect you can pressure that, to ramp up you can see that feature gaming does not want to uh Team fight right now. They want to grab a pick off uh, with uh, Lena or Lion and just buy time and get some info up for Phantom Assassin so she can farm her Battle Fury up. Also, Brewmaster is building uh, Hand of Midas, which means that he does not want to fight unless he has ulti ready. Can't blame him. I mean, it's not. We saw it happen last time, right? He brings out the split. Yes, I did miss a spell for it to be a bad fight, but it just proves if one spell gets whiffed. The ability to fight completely disappears and your split is wasted, so probably best to play for the later game. You have got your PA going towards the Battle Fury, but actually he's about to have it. So, 16 and a half minute Battle Fury, not terrible. That's easy. Surge forward. Angry Bear wants some food, he's going to find it. DY goes down. Doesn't even survive long enough to get hit by the Purge. Now, it's on the Yang, he's going to TP away instantly. He's not hesitating. He knows... If he gets caught for a second, he's dead. Fly's positioning in yesterday's games and today so far has been amazing. He did not die a single time. He's involved in 11 out of 12 kills with Oracle. Like, stats don't lie. I'm sorry, did your head just go silver and... Are you a, a professor now? Oh, God, please no. <laughs> That's exactly what Brewmaster has said. <laughs> it's found in his own jungle, not safe. Look what Sumail has again. It's a wonderful double damage room. Probably going to push on another tower with it as well. But I think you're right. Fly is, Fly is definitely helping the argument for Oracle needing nerfs. Top tower has fallen. Rest in peace, the Oracle that was. I, I mean, what, where do you think they actually prioritize um, balance in this era anyway? 
Oh, it's been a really long time since uh, I've been balancing Dota. Probably oh. more than seven and eight years, but uh, I think some numbers need to be twisted. Maybe Purifying Flames deal uh, too much damage. Maybe more, more cooldown. Half a second, a second. Possibly, yeah. Face Edict is kind of an underrated element. The Purge is the big one. I don't think you could get rid of the Dispel from Fortune's End. That would be too much. Yeah, then his spells <laughs> wouldn't matter that much. Yeah, even if you change it to be like, oh yeah, you can Dispel on, on allies but not on enemies, that would still just make him feel pretty rough to play. They want to just keep farming. Phantom Assassin is going to explode at one point if... Uh, if EG does not uh, finish this, even though it's 7k gold lead, so far it's it's looking like a one-man army. Phantom Assassin with that Battle Fury just farming up, uh, trying to get more damage. But she also needs survivability, so I assume BKB is going to oh. be the first item. Oh, oh he yeah. Something no, he's going to go for the split. Can they get another back? No, he gets it off in time. Oh, TZ can't kill him quick enough, but it was so close as well. Now they just need to back away. They can actually use the Moonlight Shadow. Yang, he's angry. He wants to find some value out of the split, but I don't think he's going to get it. Moving in now, he sees them under the sentry. But Prit just backing up. And now the arrow coming out. The drums activate. Going online. He's going to go down. Yang, he rose just in time to be the double kill for Sumail. The rest will try and get out, but they've already lost three. PA will continue to push. They can't fight. This ward is going to get dewarded at one point. Uh, Fade knows something is up. A lot of rage. Rage pings coming out. Paparazzi. Why are you fighting here, guys? Why? I mean, even if it gets dewarded, though, look at the other ward, right? This is unexpected double coverage, right, from yeah. PG. And also cute little play from Oracle in that fight during uh, Moonlight Shadow. They pop the dust, and he instantly uses Fortune and uh, to remove the dust. Hides underneath the shadows of Moonlight. I'll protect those streaks. Oh, this is a good kill if they can grab it. Go on, hit. Can they? The thing's gonna come out. They got Laguna as well. The light strike range. She beat up. He's got the rage. No! He's gonna get off the one. Trying to move away. Still with the drums to work with. He's gonna turn around. There's the use of the false promise to keep him alive. And now he wants to go to town on fate. Stun comes out and actually Lion's the one who pays the price. They won't find more as Ori is hiding in the tree line with the Shadow Amulet. Nice. He's done by Fly. Uh, we've been praising him a lot, and people are going to think we're being fly fanboys, but there's no doubt the way he's been playing this Oracle has been crucial to EG's success. Yeah, man. Ursa is tanky enough. Extra stats plus HP from Magic Wand, some from the drums, six extra strength, plus he also gets 10 strength from the Basher. He's a relatively tanky boy. Almost 2k HP to work with. And drums activate. They ping. They do see Yang. They can move forward. Arrow coming out. Gets sidestep though. Yang with the drunk brawl. Trying to move away. It's going to be slowed down. Hard tease. He gets one tap. Might be his last. But he can't. Instead, they'll just have to go for this tower. Open up and pave the way towards the base. And with the catapult here, there's not really much to stop EG. Actually, S4's has Shadow Blade now. But uh, EG has a center already set up so i think they can blow up oracle lena needs to to kill oracle if possible in the back lines but uh, she can't kill him with the combo she needs help definitely looking problematic and s4 the whole while was in the bot lane pushing he was actually scaring away the phantom assassin that's the state of the game for you now fight breaking out in the mid lane there's the laguna to get rid of crit He's gone, but the arrow returns. Stun through master long enough, he won't get a split out, even with the oh. hand of God. Whoops. A little bit close, but no cigar. Now Fade. Uh-oh, he might be in trouble. This is the saddest way to die, but he's under the sentry, so he's found on the S4. But it's too late. Sumail will clean it up. Sumail's Mirana has been on point for... I'm not gonna say two days, but yesterday he landed some pretty sick arrows and uh, in this game. You can really count on it. Sumail trying to prove Mirana. You know what? It might not be a widely accepted pick, but it is still relevant. And he's definitely building a convincing argument for it so far. Look at the movement from Paparazzi. He clears the wave and then just eats his way out with Battle Fury. He's afraid, but uh, great movement so far from him. He did not die a single time.
I mean, they really can't afford to have him die because even with him farming all the time, he's still got two heroes ahead of him in terms of net worth. It should be harder, for example, for the Urza to have that kind of net worth instead. An arrow coming out. They've seen another target. The heck's going to be there. Brew Master in a little bit of trouble. That's how the split. He should be able to get out. But the Sans is going to be there in time. The BKB advance. Two male moves forward. Now leaping across again. Going to find a kill in Chen. Roll through on point from crit. And Lena, you can use up. But when you come down, that's not friendly faces you're staring at. This is not looking good for Vichu. They still can't fight because Phantom Assassin needs her BKB to actually be involved in these fights. And now she TP'd back home, which means that... Uh, she can't get out and farm and look at Chris positioning. He's trying to stop her from getting to the creep wave. He also has seven spirit vessel charges. If someone has seven spirit vessel charges, it means that someone is either extremely bad at this game or that the game is going so well for them that he doesn't even need to use it. Not sure which way we're swinging on the argument after that death, but it's definitely a positive side of things for Vici because now after getting the tower, EG can't hang around. Definitely playing a little bit overly confident. You know, it just seems like he's uh, just like S4's son right now, right? S4 was playing in that area, never getting punished. He's like, all right, Papa S4, I can do whatever you do. He runs down there and instantly dies. Roche is going to spawn right now. EG, do they know about it? Radiant scan is not going to connect. Should see it. They know it's up. Does RTZ want to go farm a big Roshan or go farm some Vichy Heroes? smoked up. They're going to come to them. They assume they're going to go in the pit. It does have the split as well, so they need to be careful about how they approach this, but so far it seems like eliminating the Brewmaster first has proven an effective strategy for them. He is leading the way again, so if an arrow just comes on through, someone might eat it to the face. And the problem is they still didn't take tier 1 tower, Oracle, that's gonna be a huge the skill that they the can find. Coming in fate, there is the BKB out of here, Paparazzi going to work on the Darkseid, but that's not the right target, he's too tanky. Hexed up on Oracle, he knows he has to get rid of Vi quickly enough, but the false promise comes out to protect him in life. In the meantime, Lion's gone down, he's gonna buy back, but Chen is joining him already, and now Paparazzi blocked out, trying to move away with the Phantom Strike across, only the Earth Spirit, but dragged back to the vacuum. Slow down as well, the range activated, the Bash is there, and they get him. The big kill found now, a spike coming out, Lion, dodges out the roll across, but RTZ in hot pursuit here. Wants to find Fade. No blink for eight seconds, and he's in trouble. The roll on point from crit secures the kill. It's going to be a triple kill for RTZ, and they're not done. In the top, there's more fighting going on as Yang falls as well. Be a TP away by Fly. Just wants to secure those bounty runes, but now, now RTZ will go and secure Roche. That's going to be Cheese and Aegis. Uh, they try to go for Oracle. Yang blinks in. Sorry, Fade blinks in. Gets two-man stun, but it doesn't connect an Oracle. And uh, he hexes Oracle after it, but there was no damage on him. So he still uses False Promise, and suddenly this fight is just over. There was another attempt to try and find a kill by Ori there in the bot lane, but Fly was sidestepping everything. So they get their hands on the Aegis. They even got one of the bot bands. It's denying Beachy everywhere they go, and... This map is feeling incredibly school, uh, small for the side of Radiant right now. Radiant's top shrine is under attack. What's your big next? What's your big pickup next, right? You've seen the Desolate being queued by PA ages away. Illusion. Brewmaster? I uh, it just got flats, right? You, I, I don't see where maybe an Axe would be good on Lena, but Radiant's if Artizi hits in Rage, you're never killing him even with the Axe. They do not need to kill RTZ, they just need to kill Oracle and uh, try to split. I mean, it's 17,000 effort advantage for EG, looking all EG, but um, Ouija can still come back into this game. That That's why we're here, we're trying to stay positive, PMA all the way, baby. But um, there's, a <laughs> there's really low win probability for them. It's still doable. We've seen better comebacks uh, than this one. Hey, that's, that's a 2% chance, okay? 2 is better than 1, and 1 is better than 0. That is how basic math works, so maybe they can strike back against EG. It's looking rough right now, though. At, in fairness, when you are this far behind as well, any kill seems worth it. But the problem that I do see is what should be the easy kill, the Oracle, still not died. 4-0-13 on fly. Maybe crit, find him again, kill him a few more times, you feel good about it? The good thing up. is that EG doesn't have a good 
Oh, no, 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 no. Arrow again, Yang. The coin, the rage is going to come up with the ultimate to protect, but it's too late. He signs up and he's gone. Through Master dies. He needs to get back in this somehow, but he has no buyback. He's 43 gold short. That's going to cost him some racks. Fine. Barely escape him with his life as well. This should just be EG backing off, respecting the fact. No, no, they want to go. Well, they have cheese and ages. They're not stopping. Brewmaster is gone for 20 more seconds. Even with him buying back, they're just not going to back off. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll save yourself about 8 seconds if you buy it back now. This is the Orca part for him. Now rolling. Crit goes deep. Can't find it. Buyback comes out. Yours up in the air to dodge out the problem. But no, the Light Striker Ray wait when he comes down. At least be careful. Hex not bigger. Protected though by the Fates Edict. Now RT he charges forward. Finds the kill on the Chen. The split is out. But what can they do? The Bash is going to be another PA. With the BKB activate, he's running away. Not towards them. This is not how you win a fight. Ori has to move away the Shadow Blade. Everything being used defensively by the side of Peachy. They know it's over. GG cool. Game one going to EG. They have no damage whatsoever at this point. The only one who's dealing some kind of damage is uh, PA. They have some magical Lina ulti, Lion ulti, but uh, it's really not enough at this point. EG just played extremely well. Uh, the rotations from the start outnumbering uh, Vici Gaming and they did not stop. Every single time they had Mirana ulti, they grabbed a kill or two and turned it into objective. They did not have enough tower damage. If they did, I think this game would have been uh, shorter for probably <laughs> 10 minutes because it was all EG. Paparazzi was finding a lot of farm 